uh, Kieran McCoy, uh, midfield. Um, I find it very useful, especially um, I always want instant data and instant instant video analysis, like if, and to see what I've done or done wrong in the, in the match. And I, by the Monday, if we have a match on Sunday, I'd be watching it on the Monday at the latest. It's good to reflect the match and to see how you've done yourself in your own opinion, what you could improve on. And also the clips that are uh, ta you're tagged in, you can see you know what's been good, what's been bad, or what you could improve on. Um, I asked it via well my work computer, <laughs> but uh, you can't access on the phone. I normally watch the clips if they're up on the Sunday evening on my phone, but uh, I then watch uh, watch the full game either uh, I'd stream it through the TV through my phone or uh, just through the laptop. I'd I'd be I'd be well tuned in to stats. Like I, I like seeing what what I've achieved in the game, you know, because you need to base yourself on some sort of level of what you've done. Um, being able to see what, especially what the managers want from the team, so then you can see what if you're doing the right thing in the pitch, you find it very useful. I know talking to at least 10 or 12 boys it's about it, they'd all be the same as myself. You'd be watching it on the Monday evening at the latest, and uh, they'd be asking each other, you know, what, what many turnovers did you get? or when they break ball did you win? And sort of comparing notes and seeing, you know, and then they'd, they'd talk back about the game as well. Who's done well, who's done that well, or even the system we're trying to play, or just the game plan, you know. I found performing very useful. I wish I had, had it a few years ago. Was uh, name Niall Sutton, uh, position uh, centre half forward. I suppose something which I've worked hard on is my defensive play. Um, I felt that, you know, going forward and attacking wise, that I was very strong that way. Um, so now I want to focus on the defensive play and performance sports has really helped me to do that there. Uh, shows you the full game as well, but most importantly I suppose it takes you through the individual clips. Uh, very, very good and very informative for myself going into different games and I know then what I can work on and what I need to improve on. And also I suppose just for itself too, it's great for self-reflection as well. Um, again, it gives you positive feedback as well, so if you are making turnovers or uh, making tackles in the right place as well, or maybe drawing, uh, drawing frees and making sure not to give away uh, handy frees for the opposition. So overall, I think it's it's been great help for the team, but most importantly, uh, myself and I want to take it even further as well. So there's only so much uh, a coach can tell you uh, face to face. Um, as you mentioned earlier, it gives you that visual alternative. Uh, but like we're a bit like children ourselves. Okay, it's nice to have that uh, visual way there. Uh, so it's a good way for the coach uh, to connect with yourself. And again, now as uh, adults, I suppose we should be um, really focusing on ourselves and making sure uh, that we draw out the points. Um, again, the coach can tell you all uh, they want, but again, in uh, today's game, especially in football now, uh, you have to be very smart with the way you play. So again, these points are helping to develop and take your game even that further a bit. I think uh, generally uh, the lads are very, very happy with it and um, they haven't really done something like this before. Uh, usually you're told um, what's, you know, what's going uh, right or wrong with your game or personally yourself, you just you know, play it back, back in your head. Um, but speaking to a lot of the lads, they feel it's very beneficial. Uh, they're getting a lot out of it and, and again it helps them to work on different things. And I think it uh, helps build up that sense of communication. And um, definitely a bit of unity within uh, the squad, especially with the management team as well.